Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, today I wanted to talk a little bit about Star Citizen's potential. Yes, that's correct. Um, now that Invictus is over, we have some more numbers and some more stacks. Well, by the time you're seeing this video, Invictus will be over. And um, I think for the most part, it was a very successful event. The game has surpassed $700 million in funding, okay? And that's a big deal. So the question is, why does that matter? Well, you know, simply speaking, it doesn't matter for a number of reasons is, uh, first of all, CIG is making two games. So they're making the Persistent Universe and they're making Squadron 42, which is going to be a completely separate single player experience. Now, for a lot of old backers, they will get Squadron 42 for free. But for most people uh, learning about Squadron 42 today, it will be considered a separate game. And the Persistent Universe, uh, for all intents and purposes, will be kind of its old thing as uh, Squadron 42 takes a uh, place some years in the past before where the Persistent Universe currently is. So, you know, your character from that game, I don't believe will transfer over. Again, I'm not too sure about that, but uh, for the most part, it is more than just like an online mode. So you could basically look at that $700 million number and immediately cut in half about $350 million. So that, in my opinion, is still it, it kind of makes sense for the kind of game that they want to make second you got to take into account that they're not really just making two games a lot of that money was also spent on building their engine so at citizen con last year we saw a lot about the star engine and what you know the the fully realized version of that engine means for the game so basically uh, the state that the star engine is in right now is like mostly done. Uh, so they have the underlining tech for a lot of what they want to do in the game. And again, it's not completely done, but things that they might want to add in the future, things like, you know, the water physics, destructibility, more clouds, updated renderer with, uh, you know, DLSS three and all that stuff. That stuff is now a part of the engine and will slowly get rolled out over time. And silver meshing is kind of like an underlining tech that works really good with this engine specifically. So basically the way that everything's laid out kind of puts them in a position to succeed. So you have two games and you have an engine. That's what this money is funding. And then on top of that, you have to look at the way that the money comes in. So uh, a lot of people are looking at that $700 million number. And, you know, that's not the amount of money that CAG currently has in the bank. That's how much money they've ever made from the beginning. So a lot of times when you look at other games and you look at how much money they have, that money... Uh, a lot of people don't understand how a lot of that money is distributed, okay? Or moved around or how, you know, new games get worked on. And the game is progressing a lot. Uh, you know, at sometime this week, you know, Evo Cardi will start to get their hands on the cargo update uh, for 323. Right now, I would say the game is not in the best state because of uh, Fleet Week and, you know, the stuttering that's been going on on some servers. Some servers, it's very bad. It, uh, you know, I'm getting maybe 5 to 10 f uh, FPS, and that's a bad experience. And for a lot of people, you know, they'll look at that experience and think to themselves, how on earth did this cost $700 million? But again, in that state, you really can't see all the advances that went into the engine and the back end and the things that's happening. And then, uh, you, you know, the state that squadron 42 is currently in. So it definitely looks like, okay, they kind of wasted $700 million. But when you take into account what the engine is capable of the position that squadron 42 might currently be in and, uh, 
kind of the the setup that they've created for themselves with these finances uh, and you compare it to games that are making a lot more money i don't think it's really that far off now of course if you compare it to some other games uh you're comparing it really to the stability of those games there are a lot of other games that are far more stable in star citizen and again those games are the least products so polishing right now doesn't make a whole lot of sense because they are adding in a lot of tech a lot of new features so yes the the playable state of the game is usually important and it's something that they're gonna prioritize more now because more people are jumping in uh but it's still something that you got to keep in mind that you know it's in that state where they're still adding a lot of features into the game so how popular really is star citizen right now and i want to show you a chart that actually surprised me a little bit and it has nothing to do with money because i think this money conversation is of course pretty interesting but i think what's more important is how popular star citizen is becoming and uh, the fact that more people are you know the the willing to uh, you know spend money on this game because they're slowly starting to see the vision unfold so with everything that's been going on, I wanted to go over to Google Trends and take a look at what's going on with Star Citizen, how popular it is. And I mean, of course, you got to keep in mind that it is Invictus time uh, and Star Citizen does have a free fly event going on right now. But I think uh, these numbers are really interesting because not too long ago, it was a very different story. Okay, so right now I have Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, No Man's Sky, and EVE Online. These are the four primary, big, major multiplayer space games. Okay, so all of these games have, all of these games are multiplayer space games. They are the four most popular multiplayer space games. Whether you want to call them MMO or whatever, they do allow multiplayer, all of them. So, uh this this blue line way up here that's star citizen <laughs> you know uh this yellow line here this is no man's sky the green line is eve online and unfortunately this red line all the way down here is elite dangerous you know a couple of years ago this red line would have been up here with star citizen above star citizen as a matter of fact and this yellow line no man's sky would have been way up here above st both star citizen and elite dangerous okay but now star citizen is really towering above a lot of these other multiplayer space games and i really feel like that comes down to uh, you know people seeing what star citizen is capable of uh the vision that cag has for this game is what they want in a space game okay and i think that was kind of the biggest question the biggest thing holding a lot of people back is okay what what's the right way to go about making the best space game is it to focus on economy is it to focus on you know fully procedural generation you know is it to focus on just a playable experience and i think more people are warming up to the idea of you know i want a space game that has everything that literally you throw everything in it with the kitchen sink and i'm willing to wait for that I'm willing to pay money for that and i'm willing for to wait for that to be a possibility and if you know if it's not a possibility i just leave i just play something else but it's worth trying okay and that's kind of what i always said at the beginning you know when i first backed this project it is going to be a bumpy road but it is something that i think is worth trying and it seems like more people are slowly starting to come around to that i want to hear from you guys you know uh obviously you know isc is on hiatus but we have the cargo update uh going into testing hopefully sometimes this week and with the changes to the evocati nda that means that we'll be able to find out more about it uh as the evocati are testing it uh so i'm very excited about that and of course with you know ifc on hiatus content creators are going to kind of have to click up uh, 
pick up the slack with the, the cargo patch content coming out. I think there's still, a, you know, this is going to be a busy year for the game, basically. And if you guys think this, these numbers are impressive, I think it's going to be even more popular around Citizen Con and IAE this year. But that's going to be it for me in this video, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching again and hanging out with me. And like I always say at the end of these videos, you guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Salut.